Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this presentation I'm going to talk about the bedroom of our intelligent house. So this is the outline of the presentation. First I'm going to introduce the purpose of the bedroom, its design and describe uh, the main electronic components we're going to use. And in particular I'm going to provide details about how some of these uh, components work, in particular the, the RGB LED strip, the passive infrared sensor, but also the LDR sensor as well. And finally, I'm going to introduce two connection diagrams, one for, uh, or, uh, with the purpose for uh, automatically control the light of the bedroom and also to reduce another one to reduce the noise uh, of the, the external noise. So the bedroom, the, the main, the, it has two aims indeed. Uh, the first one, the priority one, it's the automatic control of the lights of the bedroom. But also, with the proposed electronics, we can also reduce the external noise from the point of view of, uh, of the bedroom, so it will be isolated from external noises. Um, the idea of this uh, bedroom is that we will inc include a passive infrared sensor to detect the presence of a person inside the, the bedroom, and for that we also use a light sensor that will measure ambient light, so that will be outside the, the room, and also we will uh, use a mic in order to measure the uh, ambient or external noises. We will uh, use, in order to produce light in, in the bedroom, we will use uh, a colored, uh, in this case, RGB LED strip, and also a servo in order to control the position of a window so we can isolate it from external noises. So this is the, the actual design that we are using for, uh, for the bedroom. Uh, as you can see here, we have, uh, in this case, the window that will be controlled with the servo. We have here the mic that is measuring the external noises. And also, this is the, 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 the component for the uh, light sensor, the LDR, to measure the light. This element here is the, the PR sensor. It's to detect the presence of, of, uh, of persons inside the room. And also here we can see the LEDs that we are proposing to use in this case for lighting the, the bedroom. Of course you can find in uh, these elements here to, uh, to print and also these decoration elements to print uh, so you can then load them and, and print them by your own. So these are the main uh, electronic components that we are proposing for this uh, particular uh, room. So this is uh, uh, seven uh, RGB LED strip uh, with a round shape here. Uh, we have a photoresistor, an LDR resistor. We have a passive infrared sensor, a PR sensor, to detect the presence. We have a servo to control the window. We have a sound module, a mic, uh, to detect sound. And of course we might need some additional cables. They are known as DuPont cables. So let's uh, describe how uh, some of the elements work. In particular, uh, let's focus first on the RGB LED strip. Um, as you may know, uh, some LEDs can produce uh, different kind of colors. And by dimming uh, the intensity of the light of these LEDs, uh, we can combine these, uh, or when we combine these three of these LEDs, when uh, combining red, green, and blue colors, combine them and dime in the light of this, we can produce even up to 16.7 millions of hues, uh, that means variations of colors uh, with these kind of LEDs. So they are built in the way that each LED, each LED actually includes three LEDs where these elements can be controlled. And the way they are built, they are addressable LEDs. That means that they form a strip they are connected through a bus wire and, and they can access or they can be accessed individually so we can set the color of each of the elements of the, the strip or the wire individually, each of them. And they, some of them, I mean, they use uh, a chip which is called, or a type of LED, I mean, it's called WS2812, uh, it's a classic one, uh, the ones that you see here, that they use three channels one for powering uh, the LEDs, the other one to provide the ground signal, that, which is obviously required, and the third one, which is the data, that will be uh, the bus data that will be passed through what, from one LED to the next one, to the next one, and to the next one. So from the point of view of the microcontroller, we only need 
three cables to connect or to uh, these LEDs and particularly one single signal which will be the data. And they have different shapes of course. They can be found in round shape, in matrix shape or as a strip. It's classically where we found these kind of uh, elements. Also, uh, we have a passive sensor, we propose to use a passive sensor and this passive sensor is re uh, designed to recognize infrared light emitted by some kind of uh, moving object nearby the sensor. So the idea is that since all objects radiate some kind of a, a heat and energy, uh, part of this energy is infrared radiation. Uh, they are relative to the temperature of the object. So the hotter the object, the more uh, emitting radiation. And we use um, these kind of sensors in applications to detect the motion uh, to, as security alarms or to automatically uh, uh, light, uh, uh, control the lighting conditions of a, of a room as we do in this project. They use, all of them, they use a Fresnel lens. Uh, this is some kind of cap surrounding the sensor that helps to focus all infrared energy uh, on the sensor and uh, it's made of uh, or from two pyroelectric strips detecting the thermal energy. And the idea is that all these sensors work in the, in the way that they detect the motion, so they, they detect changes between these two regions that they are sensing, and when there's a variation on, on each of these regions, this sensor activates a digital signal. But if you stand still inside the room, and you don't really mo uh, generate too much energy, the, then let's say then the sensor in the end won't be able to detect you and will deactivate the digital signal. And of course the ranges of the sensor vary depending on the model. Uh, here the one we use are, it's using just a few millimeters to detect uh, the nearby of the, of, the, of the sensor. And finally, an LDR is a uh, it's a component that uh, has a, it's a resistive component whose resistance varies depending on the amount of light that it receives and it's reactive or, or reacts against um, various visible wavelengths. And um, the resistance can vary between up to one mega ohm, or let's say it's basically an open circuit, let's say, if it's dark, while if it's exposed to light, the, the resistance can vary to very few ohms, so the, this is where we can play uh, with this uh, uh, element to uh, use it as a voltage, uh, in, a, in a voltage divided circuit we typically use it like this, so if the resistance varies from open circuit this will measure zero, while if it's a, almost a short circuit uh, a resistor with a very, uh, let's say, low value, that will take the input voltage that we put here. So this output voltage will vary between zero and the voltage input that we put provide here. And this is what we see from the point of view of the microcontroller. The sensor it's made from silicon or germanium depending on the model and it has some kind of resin covering uh, the sensor so it's protected against uh, environmental changes. And in this slide you can see the post a, a connection diagram for the automatic light control. Um, here, this is indeed, this is a Tinkercad uh, connection diagram. In Tinkercad, you can, the, the PR sensor is implemented in, the, um, in this way, but the actual one that we are proposing for the, for the intelligent house is this one, so you can identify both of them. This, uh, is, is, this is the, um, the LDR sensor for the resistor and this is implemented in this module, so it includes here the photoresistor and also a, a tiny resistor here, which is the equivalent of this one. And also here we have the uh, RGB LED in order to generate the correct, uh, 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 to generate some lights. Uh, here in this table here you can find where to connect these sensors to the Arduino Uno board, okay? Remember that in most of the cases we propose to use an Arduino shield on top of it and of course, these ground pins here, ground signals and power signals you, 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 you see here, will be connected to the actual power or ground signals of the Arduino sensor shield. This is our proposal. And finally, here we have the connection diagram for the noise reduction elements. 
So the, this is a, uh, in this case, is a Fritzing uh, circuit in which we have this Arduino sensor board, as you can see here, the ground and the power pins. So the servo, uh, it's connected to the ground and the power, and also here the mic, it's connected to the ground and the power. So uh, yeah, sorry, there's a mistake here in the colors. So this should be red and this should be uh, black. Sorry for that. And this signal is connected to A3, so the mic it's the analog signal connected to A3, and the servo is connected to A1. So in this presentation, uh, we have introduced the bedroom of the intelligent house. Thank you very much.